The controversial arrest of a former Houston City Councilman renews the call for cops with cameras. That's right. It's a story we broke first here on Fox 26 News. The Factor Uncensored broke it, and Isaiah Carey joins us with the update. Isaiah? Well, guys, former Houston City Councilman Jarvis Johnson says he pleaded with officers to turn on their cameras when he was handcuffed on September 13th. He says they never did, and now Johnson says his money is still missing. About here, you see him raise his arm up. Former Houston City Councilman Jarvis Johnson says he was treated like a common street thug. Every citizen of the city of Houston should be treated with, with, with equality, no matter what the stop. That traffic stop was captured on surveillance video from a convenience store in North Houston. Johnson was pulled over by a deputy from Harris County Precinct 1 for speeding and it quickly escalated out of control. I don't know how he thought his life was in jeopardy where he needed to pull his gun, point it at me, and then shout uh, expletives at me, and then handcuff me. Johnson also says he was slapped in the face by an officer he can't identify because he says minutes into the traffic stop, he was surrounded by a half dozen officers, including those from HPD. Then Johnson says his money disappeared, money he had from sales earlier that day at his restaurant on B's. I did see about you know six or seven cops, and I actually asked the, the constable why are they at my car? Nobody should be at my car. There's no reason to search my car. Uh, and I asked him, will you please, are you videoing this? Will you please turn your video on? Uh, he, he didn't. He ignored me. Johnson says $2,500 out of his car that was with his wallet and ID on his driver's side seat disappeared. And the store surveillance video did not capture what a body or dash cam could. Had he made one wrong move, we could have been attending his funeral a couple of weeks ago. Activist Derek Muhammad says that's why all the officers in Harris County should have cameras rolling at all times. If we had body cameras on every single one of those officers that came to the scene where Jarvis Johnson was harassed and assaulted by these officers, then it takes the guesswork out of what happened. It takes the guesswork out of who stole the money, who slapped him in the face. It takes the guesswork out of it. There's been a nationwide call for body cameras on all police officers to prevent the guessing about the Michael Browns in Ferguson, the Robbie Tolans in Bel Air, and the Jarvis Johnson in Houston. I said, officer, please video this. That, that, you know, that nobody ever, you know, he never explained to me or did he ever say that there was a video being cut on or anything like that. This was back on September 18th, 2014. HPD Chief Charles McClellan. Did I believe body cams are useful? that all police officers who are first responders should have them. While HPD has cameras on 100 uniforms and about 200 in patrol units, McClellan says he doesn't have the $8 million needed to buy more, leaving Jarvis Johnson with more guesswork. Now, we wanted to know if the Precinct 1 deputy constable from Alan Rosen's office actually had a camera rolling that day. We placed a call to the department, and so far we have not heard back. In the meantime, Johnson filed a complaint with the department, and Chief Deputy J.C. Mosier confirms they're investigating the case. In the newsroom, Isaiah Carey, Fox 26 News.